So guys, if you're watching this, hopefully you watched the last video or a few videos ago. Either way, hopefully you watched the video on the install of the new exhaust on the Colorado diesel. But for now, this is still 100% stock. Stock tune, stock exhaust, stock everything except for like the little minor upgrades I did, you know, here and there. I've got the GoPro hooked up. I've got a microphone right here. Hopefully we don't get a bunch of wind noise, um, more exhaust sounds. So this is gonna be the before. So I'm gonna go on a drive and just show you guys just how the truck performs as is completely stock, tune and exhaust wise. And then we'll compare that afterwards and hopefully see a big change. Hopefully I'll get some good video and audio for you guys. First, we're gonna start with a cold start and it is sort of cold. 52, 52 degrees, yeah, cold start. Yeah, you don't hear much. I mean, you hear way more engine noise than exhaust tone. Also, now that it's nice and warmed up, we'll get some revs even though you probably won't hear much. All right, now, Let's take it on an actual drive and do a comparison before and after. You can see here I have 7,700 miles on the truck. Actually, exactly 7,700. And let's go through some other things. The entirety that I've owned the truck, this is my average fuel economy, 20.6. I've owned it for 7,400 miles. Uh, I got it with a few hundred miles on it because the dealership had to transport it to my location. Now, my last trip here, 24.7 miles per gallon, which is pretty good. And the reason that's a little higher, actually it was higher than that. Uh, I went on a trip, like a six hour round trip. So it was pretty much all highway and I averaged, I think closer to like 27 miles per gallon total, which is not my best. Let me show you my best. So the best I ever did is right there. I averaged 29.6 miles per gallon. That was my best ever recorded Fuel mileage, you see my last 50 miles here are 23 and a half. And hand calculations, that is pretty, pretty freaking accurate. So really, I really do average about 20 miles per gallon with this truck, which is mainly just like putting around town. But on the highway, I do get the, the upper 20s, if not, you know, you see they're my best, almost 30. So hopefully with the new changes to the truck, those numbers will only go up. Still loving this shift knob. Haters still say their knee never hits it, but okay, if your knee ever sits like this, it would definitely hit it in cruise control, the old one. All right, here we're just kind of putting around, just driving the normal, like, routine drive that you would have in like a city environment. As you can tell, it's quiet. Let me floor it. can't hear a whole lot. I, I honestly, I only hear engine noise. You hear no exhaust noise on this thing at all. Nothing, I mean, I don't I don't even hear a turbo whistle. I hear nothing. You'd think this thing was a hybrid. I like it's that quiet. The GoPro might say otherwise because the microphone is right by the exhaust, but I'll have to wait to review that to see what it's like. And you guys will see that too. But we're about to get on the highway here. I'm going to do a little highway pull 30 to like the speed limit and you guys will see just how blazingly fast this thing. It's pretty wild actually. And then we'll compare it afterwards and see just how much faster it is. Here we go. Floor it in three, two, one. There 
here's your stock acceleration on a ZR2. It's riveting, isn't it? Super fast. It's definitely faster than a Raptor. All right, boys, we're back. We're doing the second part of this video. The first part, obviously, was the review of my truck, which is 100% stock, like tune and exhaust wise and all that. Nothing done to it at all. Now today, we're gonna review my buddy's truck, which he had some exhaust work and tuning work done to it, which is uh, right there. So we're gonna review this and do a comparison. We're gonna do the same thing, the 20 to 70 mile per hour, the sound, the cold start, and all that. So we're gonna start with a cold start, which it's not really cold, it's 60. I guess it wasn't really cold for the other cold start either with my truck. Anyway, we're still gonna do it. GoPro setup, just like it was with my truck. Also, I put a pretty nice exhaust tip on his truck too. Insert clip here. I think it looks really clean. Just super, super simple. And it's a three to five inch black tip. Link in the description. Mildly warm cold start on the tuned truck with an exhaust. Just wait a minute for it to warm up. Get some reps. Sounds pretty good, right? For a little four cylinder. Uh, I'd be happy if that was my truck. Kudos to whoever did the work and installed all that. I like it. Now let's go for a little drive. All right, since this was installed, it's only got 30 miles since the tune and exhaust, and it's already averaging 23.5 miles per gallon, and that's with zero highway driving. When I say zero, I mean zero. This thing has been driven on the highway one time, not once since the install. So I'd say it's doing very well. It is averaging better city mile per gallon than I averaged on my stock truck, highway and city combined. And just like before guys, right now we're just doing some minor putting along. I'll give it a little bit of throttle. And also this truck, if I didn't mention it already, does have the trans tuning as well. So this trans shifts way different than my truck does. Um, it definitely upshifts sooner and holds gears longer. Like it doesn't downshift as soon. And that's probably from the added horsepower and torque. It's supposed to have an extra 40 horsepower and 70 foot pounds of torque. Now there's no, you can't select a tune or anything. It's just one tune, one size fits all. So that that is what it's like and you can tell, I mean, Definitely the throttle response is a huge change. Immediately noticed the throttle response was completely different uh, than a stock Duramax. Um, it, it's like you hit the throttle and you immediately have throttle. There's no delay, there's no nothing, but it's not like super touchy. The just right amount of, of throttle response, in my opinion. So since you guys are in here, just, just listen for cabin noise. I mean, there's essentially none. I mean, it's just like a stock truck inside, no drone, no nothing because if it did have drone or was super loud inside i would hate it now this truck does still have one muffler on it so eventually that will be changed to a straight pipe just for testing purposes really nothing else now we're going to get on the straight stretch of road same stretch we were on the first time for the first test we're going to do the same test we did so here we go here it is 20 miles an hour ready three two one
Now I'm the driver, so I can obviously tell that this thing has way more power than a stock Duramax. Certainly still not fast, but I would say it's probably like your, has your average power of your average like V8 truck, like a 5.3 in a Silverado. Now it is no longer the absolute slowest truck you can buy. It's probably like the, the third slowest truck you can buy. So I'm curious to run back the tape of that. If you remember the 20 to 70 mile per hour stock on my stock truck, was 12.1, 12.2 seconds, which is rather embarrassing. However, you know, you gotta think, this truck isn't built for speed. I keep saying it's the perfect daily driver truck. You got space, you can haul stuff in the bed, it's pretty comfortable inside, you can off-road in it, and it gets good fuel economy, so it, it hits all the buttons, unless you want a fast truck. Really, the only thing left to do, and I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, my buddy's letting me uh, borrow this truck, I'm gonna go on about a 150 mile round trip tomorrow and I'm gonna see what the average fuel economy is for that I have a feeling it's gonna be over 30 so all I have to do is make that trip that's just a little bit of footage I'm gonna add in so I just got to add that in tomorrow and then we'll call this video a wrap all right the approximately 150 mile round trip has been completed what do you guys think the fuel economy is I'm actually a little more impressed than I thought I'd be. It is slightly higher than I thought. I was thinking around 30, maybe 31, 32. You want to see what we got? We averaged for the last 50 miles of the trip 35.7 miles a gallon. Now that's pretty doggone good in my opinion. It's better than I thought it'd be. So I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, the truck performed perfectly, no issues at all. Normally on that round trip that I make, that about 150 miles, I I'd probably do that like once a month. That's not where I got my previous best fuel economy of 29.3. That was on a different trip. Now this, this 150 mile round trip that I usually make and have made in the past, I'd say I would average more like 27 miles a gallon. So we went from 27-ish to 35. And that is a huge, improvement that's that's about a 30 percent gain 30 percent improvement in fuel economy now it's not always going to be that good sometimes it'll be better sometimes it'll be worse but i am impressed so far this tune truck straight pipe truck has performed flawlessly i'm very happy with it if it was mine i'd definitely be happy so uh kudos to my buddy who owns this truck it performs flawlessly so there'll be more tests with this we're going to straight pipe it at some point i may even put a hood stack on it tell you what if this video gets 500 likes, I will hood stack this truck. My lips, his ears, I'll do it. Let's freaking go. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next upload.